Hello, and today we're doing MySQL. This is the new language about databases. MySQL is a language just like HTML, like CSS, like JavaScript, like PHP. But this one is specialized for databases, just like HTML is specialized for web pages, CSS for web design, JavaScript for fancy effects, and PHP for serious web programming. SQL, MySQL, is for e-commerce and applications which require going into a database like with a client's client database with inventory and you're trying to put people together with suppliers. Anyway, you got a lot of information and you want to, uh, you have lots of records and you want to manage that. So SQL is strictly just for manipulating a database. And the particular program we want to learn about is MySQL, which is a very popular and free database engine. We call this an engine. So it's like the SQL server. There's other names. Uh, the, most, the most popular in the world is uh, it's called Oracle. It's the second biggest computer company in the world. Uh, Microsoft has one called MS SQL, Microsoft uh, SQL Server. And um, there's another free one called Postgres SQL. But probably the most popular one today is MySQL. So a database is really a filing system where everything is arranged according to records. Just like if you're filing records in a, in a file cabinet. So here are the records. You can think of them as each sheets of paper. And on each sheet of paper, there's going to be information stored in fields. So these are records. And in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven records, and the fields. The fields might be a name, phone number, age, address, city. These are examples of fields. They correspond to columns, and the records correspond to rows in a spreadsheet. But it's not a spreadsheet, it's a database. So if we want to access information from a database like this, you only need to know four or five commands in SQL that you need to memorize. So for example, you want to put in some new information in here. So you would type insert into the name of the data of the table here. This thing here is called a table. Let's give it a name. Let's call this table customers. So insert into customers. What do we want to insert into customers? We want to insert the name of a new customer. So we'll say bracket, round bracket. Start with a name. The name would be Bruno, then the phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then the age, 19, then the address, somewhere, then the city, Vancouver. Close the bracket, put a semicolon at the end. The key to remember is insert. Whenever you want to put something into a database, you use the verb insert, the SQL verb insert. Insert into the name of the table, the stuff you want to put in the table, and put quotes, single quotes, never double quotes. Single quotes around everything that you want to in, in, input into the uh, table. So if we do this, Suddenly, this table will now contain all this information. Bruno, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, age 19, address somewhere, and city Vancouver. And we can do this over and over. One 
command for each item that we want to insert. If you have a web form, if you create an HTML web form and you ask people to enter all this information, and when you process that form, essentially you're just doing an insert command into MySQL. That's all that's involved in creating a web form to get customer data, for example. What if we wanted to extract some information? So we've already got a table, now we want to select. That's another one of those things you need to memorize. Select what? What do we want to select? We want to select everything, so we put a star. That means everything from customers, because that's the name of the table. Select everything from customers, and that will show us the entire table. What if there's millions of records, and we want to restrict it to only people who live in Vancouver? So we would say, where city equals Vancouver. And now we will see, oh, I forgot the semicolon. Now we will get all of the rows, all the records that have Vancouver as a city. And then I said there were four commands to learn. We've already learned two of them, insert and select. Another one is delete. So if we wanted to delete all of the Vancouver people, we'd say delete from customers where city equals Vancouver. Semicolon. And one more command is, what if we wanted to change? We made an error and we found out that it's not really 19, meaning me. So we want to change this and we'll say update. Update. That's the fourth command that you need to memorize. Update what? Update customers. Then you say set, set age equals 40x, where age equals 19, semicolon. And that will change number 19 to 4x. There you go. And that's how it's done. Four different commands that will get you most of what you need to know in SQL. So you can operate your website so that it's now an e-commerce site where you can enter customer names, you can put and show your inventory, and you can have a dynamic website that people will come flocking to and you'll become rich. And Frequently asked questions. One common question is, where does MySQL fit in to this HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, where does it all fit in? Well, you recall that we always start with HTML and finish with HTML, and that in the head is where we put the style, which is CSS, and slash style. And we put more JavaScript in script, some JavaScript slash script, and close the head, start the body, and this is the critical part. We need a form. So we're going to start a form, and we're going to close the form. And the form has an action. Form space action equals and what you put in here is a URL or the address of a place where you'll be running a program that accesses MySQL. So this URL is a URL of your MySQL PHP script. So if, it, if this name here, the name of this is called mywebpage.html, 
maybe we'll make this be uh, update dot php update dot php usually in php scripts I have a php ending so you put that right into the action of your form in your form then you're going to ask for a name for age for address for all that and as soon as you click on the submit button the form will send its information over to the PHP script. And the PHP script over here will be um, a bunch of PHP. So it starts with PHP, ends with PHP. And inside here is where we have the MySQL commands. And those commands are embedded inside PHP commands which call the MySQL. It's a little bit, um, it's just like two languages together. You have the PHP calling up the MySQL command. Uh, what it looks like sort of varies according to which, which modules of PHP you're using. But let's say it might look like this in PHP. MySQL bracket quote select uh, no insert insert into customers and then remember we had a bracket and then we put the name of the person in here well this time we'll put the variable dollar name which was in the form. It was here as input name equals name. And so now we have name as a variable which we can use in our PHP script. Quote, and we had the age, and I forget what else we had here. Dollar address, and so on. Close it, semicolon, close the quote, close the brackets. So the brackets close, it's double quotes. It has to be double quotes and then all the single quotes on the inside. Looks a little bit messy, but you can see how the MySQL, which is right there, fits into the big picture. You've got MySQL with PHP <coughs> coming out of a form action, which is HTML with CSS, JavaScript, and everything is all together. And these two pages is the bare minimum decent website today in 2005 a bare minimum website will have a form and a corresponding mysql slash php script Ta -da! and another commonly asked question is what is a shopping cart a shopping cart is uh, when we're talking about web pages shopping cart is a place where people store the stuff they are buying until they've got everything they want and then they go to the checkout counter online and start paying now what is what truly is a shopping cart well now that you know it, mysql you know that a shopping cart is really a table let's call that table cart and it's a table with records and what, is this, what do these records contain? There's, each record is, is an item that a person wants, a, a customer wants to buy. And so we might have um, I, the code for it, the item, what it, what it is, the quantity, and the price. That would be an example of a shopping cart. So, when you click add to my shopping cart, what you're really doing is you're going into a web form. And there's a form and you're saying, okay, here's the code, the, the name of this um, field's code, and there's the uh, item, the quantity, I'm done. and the price. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so a shopping cart is a table which you access from a form. Your form will need to have four widgets. Your form, and you will have an action. It's called the action shopping dot php slash form and it's going to need four items an input for code so we call it name equals code an input for item an input for quantity and an input for price Now, obviously, people don't enter their own price. They would enter the quantity. So the price would be a, a, hit, a field that is provided for by the website, not by the user. You definitely want to enter the quantity, the item. And the code is probably going to be a pop-up thing where you select or you use a radio button. It's not usually done as a plain input. I'm just trying to keep it simple. But you do have these four things going to be sent to shopping.php. So they get sent to shopping.php, and what does shopping.php do? It says something in PHP, so it's question mark PHP. A question mark at the end. And what does it say? It says something like MySQL. Insert into, what's the name of the table? Cart insert into cart. What do we want to insert into cart? Open bracket, quote, first the code. What's the code? It's dollar code. We're picking it up directly as dollar code. What's the item? Dollar item. What's the quantity? Dollar quantity. And what's the Price, dollar price, close bracket, semicolon, close double quote, another semicolon for the PHP. See, semicolon adds all SQL, SQL, and semicolon also adds all PHP. And this is what happens when you click on submit. Your item that you selected is now stored into a table so that it can remember what you want it to purchase so that by the time you eventually get to the final page which is the the place where you actually pay up with a MasterCard or a Visa it will know everything you selected through the various pages in the website so it doesn't have to it doesn't get confused nor do you get confused and you know exactly both you and the uh, website owner know exactly what's involved, what's in your shopping cart. All pure MySQL. It looks cute and fancy and has beautiful pictures of shopping carts, but really, it's just plain old MySQL with PHP.